day four. whatever day this is um, it is three o'clock in the afternoon on said day I have my afternoon coffee and my crushing it at motherhood top going together with the theme here um, packing up some masks I finally got some to pack up so things I've decided let's get a little ketchup so what I decided to do is I'm gonna cut various sizes at night and then I'm gonna sew during the day and how I'm going to do it, which I tested it out today and it worked the best, is that I have all these pre-cut ones because I already did a tally. I already know like I need 50 plus of women's adult. You know, I have them already all sorted out by like how many I need of each. So I'm just sitting and cutting all night long. And then in the morning when I get my list out, I pull the list and I'm going in the order that you've contacted me. So pretty much... I'm going in the order of messages received, so depending on how early on you found my video, you'll be at the top of the list. And then if you've done it more recently, like unfortunately you're towards the bottom. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll look at it and I'll say, okay, this family needs one large adult male, one large adult female, and two youth boys. And I'll go and from the stacks, because I have these little... I have these little boxes. It's not this one, but I keep a lot of these boxes that I get at Target. And I went ahead and when I pre-cut them out, I put all the youth in one, all the adult, regular adult size in one, all the toddlers in another, you know, you get the drill. And so I did that and then I'll just go and pull based on what I need and then just kind of like in an assembly line just run through the orders. Um, I tried it today, worked wonderfully. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna try that because I'm gonna tell you, I was about to have like a mental breakdown this morning because I tallied it up and I'm at 174. And that's at the time of this recording because I have a bunch of messages on my computer waiting for me to respond to of new things. And I've had businesses and like, you know, workplaces reaching out to me about stuff and like I wanna help everyone. Also, I'm gonna say this again, hopefully you'll catch it on one of the videos. If you have a larger order, so anything that's like over seven, you're gonna be getting the accordion style because we need to pump these out. I'm getting people needing 10 and 15 for a family. Like, this is gonna take me forever if I have to hand cut out six pieces for each one of those masks before I can run it. So I'm going to streamline them by doing the accordion. It's not that the accordion version is inferior, it's just that it doesn't have a pocket. But, if you watched my original video, I did tell you that if you have a pocket, you should put a piece of flannel if you feel the need to. Here's the thing, if you get an accordion one, you'll have the flannel already sewn in. So there's zero extra work for you. So in a way, I'm kind of doing something for you. So since I, didn't get, since I didn't give you a pocket, instead I'm going to give you the flannel already built into it. That is my, um, that's my peace offering for having to do it this way. But unfortunately, I'm the one person, I'm the one sewist, um, and I know I'm a sociopath for taking this on, and I mean S-E-W, okay? sociopath for taking on this project and so in order for me to be able to work at max capacity and get everyone their orders without having to wait till like mid-june we're gonna do it this way okay so that's how it's happening everything's good um you know i brought myself back up from my slight panic once i saw the number i've literally been avoiding telling it because i knew that i would simply focus on the number and that's all I'd be able to think about is how long till I break that number down to even like double digits at this point but you know what forget it I am just saying screw the number I'm gonna do it and I'm just keep working 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 now that I found something to streamline it for me to make it go a little bit faster I feel better so I can continue also if you get one of these in the mail that means your masks have arrived. I will be dropping your tracking number into whatever platform you messaged me on. So that's how you're gonna know your order has shipped, okay? I'm literally just responding with tracking number dots and then your number, okay? I'm not gonna go into some long drawn out thing because I already get sucked into hours of responding to messages and you're gonna get messages from me at weird hours, okay? And I'm not gonna respond most of the time, okay? I'm, I'm limiting, I'm, 
I'm limiting how much time I'm staying on social media because of the fact that I will get sucked in and before I know it, it's two hours later and I lost all that sewing time. So for the people like, for instance, last night, you got responses from me at like two or three in the morning, literally as I was on my way to bed, I messaged you. So don't be offended, I'm not at all ignoring you I'm just limiting the time so that way instead of throughout the day responding to one here and there I can respond to all 14 at the end of the day and we're just gonna do it that way so no offense that's just how we're gonna do it from now on I want to be productive and this is the only way to do it so let's get to it I'm gonna sew some more I'm gonna get to the next couple orders on my list and um, I think we're going to call that, I'm not going to call it a wrap, but that's going to be it for this little tangent. So let me finish my coffee break and we'll get down to business. So, so we're taking a break from packaging to opening packages. Oh. So I got some stuff sent to me, which is super exciting. Let's see what it is. I just figured out what it is. <laughs> so I have a registry set up and occasionally I get surprises of things sent to me. This was definitely on that list. Oh, um, oh my god! Yay! Okay, if you followed me, you'll learn I'm a mug lady. Oh, look how cute. Oh man, it's so nice. Actually, this is a really good size. I was afraid that it was gonna be like too big. I have one, I got an Ursula one, and it was really large. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> now, this box like really big. <laughs> what the heck is this one? I'm gonna figure out who sent me that, so super excited. Thank you if you're watching this video. Please let me know. Save me some trouble of having to figure it out. And, ooh, what the heck is this? I mean, I know I have a lot of stuff on my like registry. Sometimes my family buys me stuff off my registry. Oh, how fun! This is from legit the Disney store. Look, it has wrapping paper. Aw. I, I, I had a few things I wanted from the Disney store. Ooh, oh my god, another box. A box and a box. Wow, that was a lot for, <laughs> it's a big old box for a little box. This is totally something my husband would do, wrap something this small inside a big old box. Totally, totally something he would do. Maybe that's who from? <laughs> who knows? I guess I'll have to ask when he gets home if this was him, his doing. You guys know I'd love me some happy mail. Like, oh, you know I love me opening mail. Well, I don't like opening bills, but I like opening packages. Bills, get out of here. I take forever. You know how long it takes me to open up the actual like letters that come in the mail? Not as quick as these packages, I'll tell you that. Ooh, this was actually not on my list. So somebody took a gamble. Winner, winner. Oh my God, this is so cool. Totally wouldn't have normally picked it out, but lovely surprise. I actually like this a lot. Oh, some people just get me and they know what I like before I even know what I like. So thank you. A little fun, little um, kind of, I don't know, we're doing so much serious stuff and doing this because life's so serious right now, so unpacking and seeing something really cute like it brightens my day I love tumblers and mugs so definitely made my day and it was a perfect timing because I was feeling kind of down about that number ever-growing number of masks so it was nice well I hope you enjoyed um are you also a mug person are you a tumbler person are you like a water bottle person do you have something that people just know like oh it reminds me of you leave me a comment let me know 
Also, let me know what you think about these mugs. Woo. Also, if you know of any mugs that you think I might like, send me links. I'm constantly adding stuff to my registry and I would love to put some more fun stuff on there. But I never know where to look for these mugs. I know I get a lot of them at the Disney store, um, but like, who else has really fun mugs? I don't know. Help me. Okay, or maybe help me? You don't help me? Yes, help me. Help me because you know what? It's true. I'll never have enough mugs. So send me all the mugs. Just do it. Leave me a comment. Thanks. Okay, so I took a minute for my like sporadic responding to messages and I realized that we need some clarification and I'm gonna do it here versus trying to respond to like 50 different people on Facebook and Instagram. Let me explain how the pay it forward concept is working. I initially put in X amount of dollars, a good amount of money, actually. I put in a good amount of money to supply, uh, buy supplies to start making masks for people. Okay, so I did that. Um, based on how much materials cost, it is about $5 for one mask. Okay, and then I asked that everyone pay their postage so that way we didn't have to pull postage money out of my initial investment and that could just simply go towards just material costs. And then obviously I'm doing the labor for free. So, um, that being said, when you ask me how much should I give, I'm not really comfortable giving a number to that because that should be something that is coming from your own heart and you know your situation better than I do, so you decide that. But I'm going to explain how far it can go, because for some people, it seems like this is this matters. They want to know how far their contribution is going, so I'm going to explain that. So five dollars, okay? So I put in an initial amount for material costs, and I've been putting in the labor, obviously. Um, someone comes to me and they get for a family of five. I say your shipping is four dollars. They say great. They tell me, they send me a PayPal or Venmo for $20. And I'm like, okay, great. I deduct from that their shipping and whatever's left over is gonna consider their donation that's going to pay forward to the next family, which means that uh, we will have um, like $16 left, which can get me three masks. So I can cover three more people. And the reason I kind of did it this way is because there's a variable and family sizes have changed. I've had some families that need 20. I've had some families that need seven, 12, 15. Like I've gotten really big numbers, which is why I initially put so much in the beginning and that I hope that it will now like continue to sustain itself. And when people give, I can keep giving and I'm going to continue this for as long as I'm like mentally, physically can, and until budget runs out. I can't completely fund this till the end of time. That's not reasonable. I also have my own family to think of, um, and I already did that big initial investment. So that's how this is going to work. So if you're wondering, which I think has been a really big question for people, because they've kind of asked around that question, but haven't outright asked it. So let me just tell you, $5 a mask, um, and when I say that you're paying it forward to the next family, like I said, whatever's left over from your postage amount will go towards buying supplies for the people that come after you. And so on and so forth. Until, and this has already happened, I've had several families that simply cannot cover cost of shipping or to donate to someone else. Now this is when our community pool comes into play because that means we have extra monies to fully cover that family. So if they're a family of five and it takes $25 for their supplies, I'm able to take that out of our fabric fund and pay for that. Then I'm also able to take from that same fund anything left over to pay for their shipping label to get it to them. So when I say they're covered at 100%, that's what I mean. I mean that we, the community, have been able to pay it forward and get all their fabric and I was able to, out of that same donation fund, get money for their shipping costs. So that's what I mean when I say at 100% because essentially when you donate, um, you're also paying it towards the, the next family. So you really are kind of giving in a way. You might not necessarily be paying the exact amount for your family, but you are paying it forward so that way I can continue to keep, you know, snowballing this and avalanching it, however the heck you wanna say it, to keep it going. We're putting fuel in the machine. 
we're putting some, you know, we're putting some wood on that fire. And that's how it works. So based on all the messages I've gotten in the last, like, eight hours, I feel like that explanation was really needed and maybe will kind of help some people and help you understand how it works. Maybe it'll make you feel better. Maybe it'll help you to understand where it went, how I'm using it. And so that's that. So hopefully that was helpful to you. So if you were wondering, that's that. Um, again, still looking for nurses. I've only had like three so far. Um, send them my way, tag them in the comments. Do what you gotta do. Message this video to them. Do as you will. Hey, 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 we're on another day. Okay. I'm sitting here responding to new messages and things like that. Um, our sleep schedules are starting to get like really off. I think my new like work routine is starting to get to everyone because I notice we're all off because right now it's 10.36 in the morning. I think I've kind of shifted all of our sleeping habits now. So, unintentionally, and I know it's happening to everyone in our house, so we'll see. My oldest daughter's still asleep, so I'm definitely, I think I've made a ripple in our household. But we're going to continue on. Um, I didn't just get up. I did already get up and I already laid out my first order. I got all the way up to literally the assembly part where I'm going to um, attach all the pieces together and I have them all clipped together, so I just gotta run them through, turn them right side out, and put the elastics on for the ears. So that's happening. Um, that'll be for the next couple orders. Um, we're also going to do headbands today, also. So that'll be fun. I'm really excited about the headbands. I think I'm also going to make myself a headband, not with the buttons, but just because I like the fabric and I wear headbands all the time. Mostly because this is like my, um, I don't want to say my mom get up, but this is my work gear. My shirt today is living on coffee. That's a, what does it say? Damn it, let's not read it. Living on coffee and a prayer. Very accurate for today. I'm actually gonna get one of my new mugs and make myself a cup of coffee. So, yeah. Found out that my husband sent me the gift, super excited. Did get them off my registry and then did get another one that even I did not would like. I love that, even better. So, I mean, I guess we've been dealing for so long. I would hope he knows me by now, right? <laughs> no, he does. Better than I know myself, apparently. Because he gives me stuff and I'm like, oh, that's nice. Mostly he really nails it when he knows exactly what I want to eat which I'm a real big like food person. So he's like, I bet you if I tell you this is what you're gonna want. And then sure enough, or sometimes when he brings me snacks home. That's real love guys, that's real love. All right, let's get started. So enough of the chit chat. I'm back on the podcast bandwagon today. Today I started off listening to um, Monsters Among Us, high quality production. People uh, call in to a voicemail or send a voice recording of their spooky stories and he does a really good job of compiling them together and playing them back. And then he gives a little feedback um, saying like perhaps maybe what you saw instead was this plausible explanation or you know. And then he's got one of those like really good like podcast spooky voices like it's really nice. So I would suggest you give that a listen also.
Okay, guys. I have been not recording much. I have been very busy uh, packing your masks, making the masks to pack. Um, that's what I've literally been doing all day long. I've made some headway. Um, you guys have been getting uh, tracking info from me. Uh, we did a run. I had my husband go yesterday to the post office for me. He went today. I'm getting stuff ready to go tomorrow. So if you get a random message from me with a tracking number at some weird hour tonight, um, that's because your order has shipped. That's my way of telling you because I don't have time to like type out a big old spiel. I have so many orders left to do that this is how I'm doing it. Just quick and simple. Hey, here's a tracking number. It's on its way. It is currently 11.06 p.m. All of my children are awake. Like I said, we have, our sleep schedules are totally off. I am weirdly exhausted. Like I am so tired. I was making dinner earlier and I was almost fell asleep at the stove, like out of nowhere. Like this like wave of exhaustion just like hit me. And I was like, I told my husband, oh my God, I'm literally gonna fall asleep. Like as we're standing here talking. So, all kinds of things. Don't look at the bags under my eyes, please. No judgment for all of this. Um, but yeah, things are coming along. I'm determined as ever to get all these done, so I'm still trucking on. And I'm gonna call it a quits for this studio vlog. It's gonna be two days, because yesterday was kind of short. Um, I also spent it mostly doing like productive things and I didn't spend a lot of time figuring out what to show you guys so that's just how it turned out so you got two days mashed into one day and hopefully you liked it hopefully you enjoyed it don't forget to find me on YouTube like subscribe do all the things turn on that little bell it'll give you notifications every time I upload a video so you won't have to miss a thing Share with all your friends, link below, comment, uh, tag someone who might enjoy this video, tag someone who might still need a mask or a headband if you've got a nurse friend, all the things, that would be great. Also, um, if you had a podcast recommendation, guys, I'm working like 16 hour days, so I would love new things to listen to. If you think it's something I might enjoy based on what I've been telling you, let me know. I want to hear all the things. Also, if you know where to get good mugs let a girl know i will be adding that to my registry list i do put my registry list in the link down below um because i find really cool things sometimes and it's a nice way for me to show people and maybe you can get yourself a little something if you tend to like the same things that i do so clickable links guys um just look at that in the description Thanks for this. I'm so glad you stuck it out all the way to the end of this video. As usual, I appreciate everyone and all the eyeballs that came and watched my entire video. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye.